So many people over the years have asked me, why do you travel so far to such a forsaken land? Leave my family and travel miles and hours and spend money to come here. And I'd say the only answer I have is because anyone who's learned this far in Rab Nachman knows that there's a koech there. There's a koech that's eyes that saw thousands of miles and hundreds of years. And uh, for this generation, he has what to say. He had what to say then and more even now. And one of the things he said, one of the tenets of Bresla Hasidim is to be together at the kibbutz, together on Rosh Hashanah together. Adon Olam Asher People have asked me over the years, is this a uh, big party? And um, I can only answer and say that people get what they need when they come here. They come here and they have expectations, and those expectations are usually fulfilled. We're walking through the back streets of Uman on our way to look at a hotel that we might be taking different residents next year with a, with a mikveh built in. And Mark says, Sheikh, come before it, right? The hotel, the best one in the Pushkina. You can check, you can have a look. We have three floors, four floors. We have sauna, we have mikvah, we have kitchen, we have everything here. I'm yeah. here at the mikvah we'll be using this week. It's a uh, premium mikvah, VIP. And we'll have to take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, the mikvah is actually beautiful, perfect. Italian tile, water's clean, and there's a lot of room to get dressed over here. And my plan is to do the opposite right now, so thank you. I'm heading over to the outdoor shuk to buy some items for Shabbos. And here's the path. This is a very small portion of an open air market. Hey, some nice watermelons. Look at those watermelons on the truck. A truck full of watermelons. I'm buying one of these gorgeous melons over here. And it's probably gonna cost about a buck. I'm buying some eggs. Hope I get them home to scramble them. This is one of my personal favorites, the fish market. Schmacken, schmacken. Kuyakin. This is really amazing. This is an open air market with the most beautiful fresh fruits and vegetables, all organic, all natural, as they say. And these are the coolest people I'm working with over here. I bought some stuff and they're just a pleasure to work with as long as you have money in your pocket. We're having a great time over here. Look at all these fruits and vegetables and herbs and parsley and dill. America. America? Yeah. Привет, Америці. Success, mission accomplished. I got everything I needed, a little more than what I needed. And then I even open here. I got my eggs for the week, my scrambled eggs I'm gonna be making. I got a bunch of salads that I'm gonna be making, fresh salads, organic vegetables. And uh, we're heading back now. This, this is the main street in Uman, lots of music. Everyone trying to peddle their CDs. Everyone trying to make a buck. All in preparation for Yomta and for the rest of the year. When you have such an influx of 30,000 people in a four block radius, although it's expanded recently to many, many different parts of the Uman community, most people are concentrated in these Soviet buildings that were built in the 70s. Um, they were uh, built on uh, this mountain which, which happened to be a, a, a Jewish cemetery. That's one of the reasons that Reb Nachman wanted to be buried here. 